afternoon everybody it is wednesday november 18th i think it's about 1 30 in the afternoon um i'm sitting here in a pickup it's windy outside we're gonna get out in a minute i'm gonna show you what we did what we got going on um in a cornfield i don't know if you can see the cows down there um so they're just grazing corn stalks. I got a couple of Chrysalix protein tubs out there. So um, there is south where they're standing there on that ridge. I don't know if you can see them or not, but there's an old uh, irrigation reuse pit. And there's water in it. And I've been having them drink out of that. And yesterday I came up uh, to check them and had a cow down in the mud. Got her out. She got up. She's okay. Um, everything's good that way, so, um, and I'm going to be honest, there's, there's no excuse for it other than I was lazy and thought I was preoccupied, so, uh, what I'm doing today, I've been working on this since before we brought cows over here. There's an irrigation well right there. You can see that white PVC pipe I glued together and we run it over there to that stock tank. And I got T-post, there's one there, there's one behind the mirror and there's one right there. I tied up that pipe to them posts to hold it and help support it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start that well here in a minute. It's probably been, it's been about 30 minutes since I glued that together, so I think it'll hold well enough to start the well. Um, just wanted to talk about it a little bit. I have not started it up. I honestly kind of expect it to blow apart because right there where it goes together, there's a, you know, it's an old, it's a vent I took off of the pipe, and then I had a piece made with a 90 degree uh, pipe elbow, and I could not find a male threaded four inch pipe glue on to go into there. That's what I, I really, that's what I need. Um, but this is what I got. I've got a, it's actually an adapter from like. A, cast iron to four inch pvc for a sewer line so i kind of expect that to blow off of there honestly so we're gonna see what's happened that's what i thought hell with it we'll make a video and see if we can make it interesting see what flies apart so i'm gonna get out you're not gonna be able to hear me talk the wind is blowing 25 30 mile an hour it is terrible so um let's just see what happens if it works we might get into a little update if it don't You'll probably get to hear some cussing and that'll be the end of it. So let's see what we got here. So I'm sure you can hear the wind now. It is terrible. But we got power here. I did check that out. Made sure that was ready. Um, walk around, so I'll try not to get too big of a bath if this fails. So turn this switch to hand. And we hit start. Got it on, blowing the dirt out of that pipe. Hmm, no water. Oh, maybe. We got water. You know, it didn't come out of there as fast as I thought it would. Uh, maybe we should have run it before we put it right in the tank, but there it cleared up right away. So. Run it over just a touch so we can see if we clean that water up. I'm impressed to hell, so I'm gonna be brave and walk over here. It's leaking a little bit, but that's okay. I hope take a little pressure off, but that's gonna work good. So my joints are holding, they ain't leaking, so that's a good deal. And, uh, so I'm gonna maybe I don't know if I can zoom in. Yeah, not really. There's cows down there. <laughs> there's uh, 84 cows over here. On there's 320 acres. There's a half section of corn stalks here. We're in the middle of it on the north end. Uh, we're standing in the middle of this section. So. Uh, tank's about full already. 
tank should hold a thousand gallons right at it when it's full. So, uh, yeah, it could zoom in. Yeah. So, here we go. So, that's all. We got fresh water to cows. Don't have to worry about them being a mud hole. It's a good day. So, alright, everybody, it's a short one. Well, I'll we'll talk a little bit more. We're going to see if you can hear me. We're back in the pickup. I'm gonna head down the road uh, to the next project that I really wanted to start yesterday. So um, we got everything moved, so we should be get started today. Hopefully, at least at the very least, we get the drill full of seed. So I'm headed down uh, back to the building to get the 750 drill on the 7210 tractor. You gotta pump up a tire on a drill. And then uh, we're gonna go to Kansas. Uh, actually right next to where I put up the brachytic dwarf forage sorghum, sorghum sedan grass. Uh, and uh, do some drilling, uh, cover crop, grazing crop, whatever you wanna call it. It's uh, I can tell you the blend. I'll probably just wait. Actually, I'm gonna wait and just do a video when we get there and talk about it, see if I can show you some seed. Maybe tomorrow we'll do that video because the wind's not supposed to blow so bad. But uh, I'm just headed out here between these two pivots. Uh, we're gonna head home and go see about drilling. So feel better we got that water up. That way we won't have to worry about cows getting in the mud. Um, I probably will run around there real quick and make sure there isn't anything stuck in there and see how everything's going. Make sure that other cow still is doing fine. So we can hang on and do that. Um, but uh, I am quite a little ways from home. I'm a long ways from a hay pile, <laughs> which is okay. Long, you know, <coughs> in theory, there's enough corn stalks here for these cows for all winter almost, but they won't be here that long. Um, I don't intend to do that to this to the ground. Um, I'm a grain farmer too. You guys know that if you watch the channel. Um, of course, my heart's mostly with the cows and the hay, but I do like raising grain. I mean, I do have a degree in agronomy, so I can't say I don't like it. I feel like there's more fun challenges in the in the beef and in the hay, and so how to do it on a low cost and do a good job. I mean. Um, I kind of lost the, you know, it used to be fun to try and raise corn, you know, how good a corn you can raise. And, you know, it seems like it's almost too easy. I'm not saying it's easy, but it's, you know, there's not a, not a challenge in it anymore, it don't seem like. So, you know, it's just try this and try that and keep pushing forward and add to the recipes. And I mean, to be honest, 2013 was probably the closest year we had to this. 2012, of course, was terrible dry for the whole country. 2013 was dry because we didn't have any subsoil. So that's the difference this year, we had subsoil. But we had this, we actually had more rainfall in 2013 than I had a 70 bushel corn crop. And this year, you know, the whole farm averaged 149 or something like that. It was right there. Just, 
I want to say it's 150, but I'm not going to. Just because. Anyway, don't matter. Which around here where I'm at, that's tremendous corn. I mean, really. Um, and if you can raise that year in and year out on dry land in this country, you're going to be okay. I mean, heck, the irrigated, good irrigated ground is 280, you know. So that's good corn. Um, so that's kind of well, I like doing the cows, you know. Uh, I like feeding my calves. Uh, we never did that when I was growing up, which is weird. But I tell you what, I did it last year and this year, and the more I do it, the more I want to uh, want to feed calves. So uh, it seems to be fun, and I I feel like I can make more money selling my grain and my hay on the hoof than I can by the ton or by the bushel, if that makes sense. So I can figure myself a pretty good price for my corn and my hay and sell my calves and make good money at it. So uh, I enjoy that. So I even got some old cows this year, of course, on our cow flipping thing. We had some bunch of them that were open, which, you know, big surprise. We were actually, the original plan was they weren't going to have a bull with them anyway. And uh, hang on, it's going to be windy. They're spoiled as they know it's me. Oh, just an electric fence around this field, uh, which you know I usually don't like electric fence, but in the especially in the summer, but in the winter or the fall on uh, grazing crop residue it works really well um, the cows seem to respect it pretty well but a bunch of spoiled brats you honk a horn and they're coming this way slowly surely they're headed towards us so uh, i just i gotta make sure you know that this cow isn't back in the pond that there's nothing stuck in here that everything's up and up I do have a cow in here that had a calf, which is weird. We we're way early for that. Um, I haven't found a calf. I saw the cow. She was had cleanings and stuff. And, uh, you know, I'd never seen the calf. She looks like she was being nursed, and it could be that one clear over there by herself. So we're gonna do a quick drive around. Here's that reuse pit we had a cow stuck in down in there. So we got her out, she was okay. So I'd like to find her, it'd make me feel better, but I don't think she'd been in there too terribly long uh, when I found her. So uh, we're gonna try and pull these girls up, drive across, show them where that tank's at. So, of course, the cow it was in the mud. Her, she'll be easy to see when I see her. She's an all-black cow, which, you know, there's a whole bunch of them out here. But her uh, ear tag was covered up, dirty, and you couldn't read it. So, she's a tall cow, got long legs on her. So right there she is, in the middle, coming at us. We'll drive by her here. This cow, on, not the Hereford, just this black cow right here. She made her out. She's walking around. We're doing good. So let's try and get them up here to the tank. I think that cow really by herself. Probably the one. She got her baby kid over there. That's my hunch. She's pretty good at hiding. So let's see if we can get these cows to come with us. Let's go, cows! Oh, they're thinking about it. Uh, in the mirror, maybe? No. I don't know what the best way is. So. They're a pretty good draw, but right there, straight ahead of us is where we were. So That's where the tank's at. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see a little white shed. That's where the well's at. So that's where we're headed to. They're coming slowly. So 
Hey, uh, there's a lot of grazing out here yet, which will be good. So, um, of course, the plan is again, we haven't talked about this yet, I don't think. But since we're doing cows and winter grazing, we can talk about it. Um, plan on selling the, the big calves uh, Friday after Thanksgiving on auction, sale barn auction. Uh, there'd be about 60. Three head of them we're gonna take down there. Oh. Smoss! See if they'll come. They don't want to. But, uh, so we're gonna sell 63 head then. And on Tuesdays, the sale barns always had sales on Fridays. And last year they started doing Tuesday nights, doing bread cows. And Cool cows and stuff like that. I got 15 or 16 cows there, and a lot of home that are going to go on Tuesday before Thanksgiving. So we got a big week. Um, there's a cow sale in Kearney, Nebraska, on Wednesday before Thanksgiving. I'm going to try and go to that too. My partner that's got cows with me here uh, has been uh, buying and breeding red peppers uh, and that's you know in one of his pastures that he's still got so I think we can go up Sunday and help him haul heifers to the sale barn and then uh, Wednesday's the sale so I don't know if they're gonna come up here or not they're thinking about it So um, that's the plan, of course, the point of the whole story was we get settled up with our uh, last year's old cows that we calved out. Uh, we're going to try and do it again this year. So uh, the thing about heading west, I mean, I don't want to sound like a butthead, like I'm taking advantage of a situation, but that's what it is. You know, it's really dry west of here, and I think I'm going to go that way. I think I can buy some cows a little cheaper. So buy some good cows is a good price so we'll try it we'll see what happens um, so that's all I just wanted to show you my water these old cows don't want to come up here very bad so I'll uh, try and tease them I usually get a sack out they'll come running but so all right well thanks for watching we'll catch you later